yeah what is good everyone hope all is well my name is sleepy the five nine and i'm back again with another video 10 days black myth wukong will come out in 10 days since the reveal of this game i've really been looking forward to playing it and the more information we found out the better this game look i'm talking about 30 to 40 hours of gameplay skill trees lore 160 types of enemies 80 of which are unique bosses and on top of that you have the fact that Wukong has been an inspiration for so many anime that we've watched over the years. Definitely interesting in seeing. I think this is the first uh, game like produced in from China, and also it has uh, somewhat of a historical lore uh, of Wukong because well, Wukong has been one of their mythical uh, deities or mythical figures. I've never read Journey to the West that wukong has taken inspiration from so this is going to be a good play anywho the final trailer has dropped ahead of time we got to take a dive in it um see what what more information we can find so far the game is looking great so i have no doubt in my mind that it would uh be exciting once the game drops on uh, August 20th. And yeah, before we go ahead and get started, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below. Let me know if you are looking to play this game and also what you're looking forward to when playing this game. So without further ado, so I have my headset, we're good to go. This is the final trailer for Black Myth Wukong. August 20th, man, 10 days away. Game science. Turn this down a little bit. Some nice landscape. Looks like this is where we are going to be traveling. Like that drum. Oh, nice open area. I think it's good for a boss. Now I'm in this forest. Not gonna hold you, that's creepy. The night, the detail to like the Chinese culture with like, you know, statues and statues and all and landscape. Nice. I really like it. Wukong. Yeah. That's what he stores his weapons? Damn. I right, so he can transform into enemies to help him in his fights. What is that? A, a giant spider? Oh, hell no. Yeah, he does store his weapons in his ears. That's that's crazy. Nice snowy. Is that the heart on or, or some monster? What? Oh, this beats low key fire. Not gonna hold you. I wish I knew what he was saying. All these mythological like figures. Okay, so we have some humans in here. I'm digging it. Oh, so that that's how how he uh captures enemies to i guess transform into them you have a tiger with a long neck a buddha statue that was a nice ability i feel like this skill tree is gonna be bananas this is definitely giving me like god of war vibes now yep is that an Oni? Troll? 
What is that? Is that a cockroach? The Blood Moon. Wait. This game has got a lot going on in it. 160 enemy types? Yeah, it should have a lot going on. I wonder if that was the same drum as we saw in the beginning. Oh man, the cutscenes, I know for a fact the cutscenes are going to be fire. Was that the Scorpion King? Nah, it looks like you gotta take down some deities in your journey. Oh shit. This is looking great. Confront Destiny August 20th, 2024. Pre order now. I already have it pre order. You don't gotta tell me shit. Just take my money already, bro. Devious natured, hunting that guai is no simple task. You do have some skills, but this land. Wow, they're having a casual tea time in enemy territory in a protective circle. That's <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, let's go back and see uh, what we can. Point out. Yeah, so this uh, looks uh, like one of the linear uh, paths that we were that had taken in the game. Great scenery. Everything is great scenery. And I'm guessing that this drum means something later on in the game. And I don't mind that it's hold on. Yeah, so this looks like a open level here. I don't know if like we'll meet a boss here. Yeah, this looks like like a, a nice open area for for a boss. I, I don't know what's in the store over there, but the the landscape is looking crisp. Yeah, you know this <laughs> this is mad ominous. Like you just have a tree with a. Uh, Jade Crystal coming out of it, just slowly clapping like a maniac. Not gonna hold you. I seen that. I I turned right back around. The structures, how everything just looks beautiful, bro. And not gonna hold you. Uh, ears, nose, and throat doctor will find so much bullshit within Wukong's uh, anatomy. Oh man, takes his weapon, shrinks it, and shoves it in his ear for safekeeping. That's crazy. Are we gonna, gonna. I hope that there's like a moment where like a weapon or something falls out of his ear or something accidentally and he loses like something important that he, he uh, put there. All right, so here he's transformed into some enemies uh, to help aid in his fight. Looks like a lot of the enemies that, that he transformed into all have their usefulness within the, the game. Giant spider, hell to the no, to the no, no, no. It's like you're fighting somebody in their own lair in the cave. Dude. 
Can we get a glimpse of what, what he looks like? I mean, he's just big and bulky. Or is that us? Yeah, that's us. Okay. So I, I wonder what enemy you have to slay to to get that form. Nice, peaceful moments. I think I think a lot of moments like this are going to happen in the game. Which I can appreciate. And what is that? Is that like a monster or is that like, you know, some sort of like symbolism for like the heart of the land? Maybe somebody we fight. It's like an ally. Somebody we go and visit that's creepy as hell that may have some answers to something that we need. I wonder who that, that guy is to uh, Wukong. Because they look to be friends. She looks to be an enemy. An Oni, I'm guessing, like a, a demon. Well, that that's that's Japanese uh, culture, but I I don't know what do they call. I guess in Chinese culture, what what do they call demons? Um, do they just say demon, or do they have like a name for it, or different names? This is this is pretty cool. Tiger Man, Dragon Man. And then it's looking like we have def a lots of uh, armor and customizations for Wukong. That's pre pretty dope. Definitely in within the uh, God of War realm. And then there we have a child looks out like with the Buddha ears, sharing some watermelon with us. Not gonna not gonna hold you. <laughs> that's look that's type crazy, but yeah. Um not gonna uh, step into that that realm right now. If you know, you know, but or if you see it like I see it, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, we just slayed him a uh, boss. And then this Looks like he's absorbing his soul into the gourd. So is that how we like transform into the enemies? Like, do we like take a sip of the gourd and whoever is trapped in there, we have options um, on who to transform into. And is it like a timer to where we only have a limited time to be transformed or is it until we like, you know, use the gourd to change back. Who knows? We'll find out in 10 days. That's dope. We have a tiger. What was it? Tiger dragon hybrid with the neck. Another boss. Some more bosses. Oh, wait. Isn't this who we transformed into at the beginning? Hold on. Let me see. Yeah, I think that's who. What we transformed into uh, at the beginning. And we, here we're using a transformation to fight. The tiger dragon man. Yeah, that's who we had transformed into uh, before. Damn, scorpion man. Yo, the moves... The moves look nice and crisp, and I hope that there's like tons of shit on the skill tree to unlock because that would give us incentive to like explore as much as we can and level up. Not gonna hold you, I might be one of them people that'll level up, uh, that'll level up beforehand to fight the boss. So we're gonna take our time with this shit because what? August, September, October. We got two more, less than two months um, until Sparking Zero comes out. 
bro, we gonna take our time with this game. Not gonna hold you. Have the Oni head, the troll rat man. Oh God, giant cockroaches. Blood moons. I think that there was a Leviathan too, similar. Yeah, so that this definitely reminds me of uh, God of War now. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, this definitely reminds me of God of War now. And I ain't mad again. God of War was the same way, linear levels where, where we, like, or pathway levels where we traverse through nice backgrounds and uh, they were still engaging and the boss fights were, were amazing. At first, I thought this was like open world, but there's nothing wrong with that. This game type too, if you do it right, this it looks out like that they did it right, and this is uh, like the first what first AAA game from uh, from Chinese developers. I wonder how much money went into this. And you have so much lore run behind it. That 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 looked like the Scorpion King run. If you <laughs> if you old school, oh god. And you know who the Scorpion King was, bro. This looks just like the Scorpion King. Mantis, of course, when we gonna have a praying mantis boss, so like kung fu was was like the praying mantis was like one of the symbols for kung fu when it came to Chinese culture. So of course that they gonna have a praying mantis as one of the bosses, and then the gods that we we gonna have to fight. Oh God, yo, it's gonna be it's gonna be amazing. All right, as Black Myth Wukong. We already got it. We already got it. Over here having a peaceful tea time in the barrier, and this dude is just dude is just trying to get at him, bro. That's hilarious. I wonder, um, I wonder if we're we're gonna find out if what kind of race or what kind of uh. What do we call the people that Wukong is? I, I don't know, like, if there's a specific name to his type of it, people. Hopefully we'll find all that out when we start playing. But yeah. I'm excited. Okay, guys, that was the final trailer for Black Myth Wukong. Um, yeah, it's definitely looking to be fire coming out um yeah i'm gonna do a first day impression a first time impression when playing the game and we're gonna take it from there guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe let me know uh what you're looking forward to the most when playing this game and yeah i will see you guys in the next video peace